Hello everyone, my name is Ian Gillespie and I'm here to talk to you a little bit about Backupify's Teams Backup. Teams has grown exponentially in the past couple of years and has become one of Microsoft's most popular services and we're really excited to show you today what we can do in regards to Teams. So in terms of what Backupify does with Teams, it's really broken down into two major components. The first is from the seat management side of things, you'll see that Teams has its own section. Uh, as Teams is integrated with a number of other products, we wondered about where to place this, but ultimately having it at its own location seemed to make the most sense in regards to how people use Teams today as a standalone product. You'll see here that we've got a graph of how many Teams are actually backing up currently versus paused, archived, unprotected. You'll notice I can search here, or I can even um, sort by the different types of uh, states these Teams could be in. You'll notice I can also turn backups on or off on a granular level on a team-by-team -team basis. So it really gives you a lot of granular control to make sure that you're backing up exactly what you want to. Most importantly, we do have protect all and auto add functionality here. So this will ensure that as your users create new teams, we'll automatically pull them in and back them up as well. So from here, once we've got teams set up, we're going to move over to the recovery tab and take a look at teams. You'll notice it has its own section here as well. And when I dive in, I'm able to select a team of interest. I'm going to select test team. And you'll notice that there are three major areas within the team. Content is going to relate to all of the content that exists within the team site. Now, just like the SharePoint side of the platform, there are five major areas that we back up. And those are going to include document libraries, lists, site assets, site templates, and site pages. Anything that falls within those categories and is on one of your team sites will be backed up here. You'll see, for example, the document library is labeled documents. And inside of that, I'll see the channels associated with it. And I can even grab individual pieces of content. These can be restored directly back to the team or to another team of my choosing quickly and easily. Additionally, I have the ability to select a calendar. And this is very much in the same vein as content in the sense that it will allow me to restore data directly back to the team itself or to another team. Conversations are a little bit different. Conversations relate to the uh, conversation histories within the channels themselves. And essentially, these are going to be export only. This will allow you to download this content to your local computer and do some searching through it. The reason these are export or download only is A, because there are some limitations within the Microsoft APIs today, but B, because generally the use case for Teams conversations revolves less around I need to restore this data back to the live environment and more so around an investigation or litigation purpose. This tool will allow you to download this content to your local computer. You can search through and find what people were saying in channels at different times in order to determine if some kind of action needs to be taken. Other than that, all of the functionality in here will resemble exactly what you've seen for the different portions of this platform, including the Backup Now button for on-demand backups, search functionality, and of course, the snapshot tool to roll back to previous backup points. As a reminder, we take three backups per day, and we can roll back and recover data that's been lost, deleted, or encrypted by ransomware. And that brings us to the end of the walkthrough of the Backupify Teams component. I hope you found this useful. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to our support team.